Hello YouTube, Fuzz here, welcome back to Final Fantasy XII. Now after defeating Judge Bergen, we can actually make our way over to the Sorobi Step. It is quite a big detour, but it is worth it in my opinion, because that means that we're going to be able to go ahead and start looting some awesome equipment. So make your way over to now being a fortress, head through the Moss Foreign High Waste, and then head over into the Salika Wood. That's going to be our first destination on our way to Sorobi Step. The journey itself will be super uneventful because you'll have your machinist laying on the damage and your tank uh, taking on the damage, I guess so to speak. So head to the blue save crystal at the start of the Salika Wood and speak to the forest community, uh, forest traveller who tells us about the Moogle community. And uh, it's been a long day for me, you can probably know. Uh, tell. Ah. So uh, I've just been on the phone, I've got other things on my mind, so I'm not really uh, talking properly at the minute. So we'll go ahead and speak to the layabouts here at the forest bungalow. And they tell us they're resting. Fair enough, so now we're going to go ahead into the next section. Make sure you grab the map from this area. It's located just up here, but I've already got it, so I don't need to worry about it. In fact, just down there, I think it is. So then we're going to head over to the other side of the Salika Wood, where we're going to go ahead and see the gate that is closed. And that's going to kick off the uh, option for us to go and speak to the Moogles that we need to speak to in order to get the gate unlocked. So just head all the way over to the other side. And we can see there's a nice blue arrow showing us where our destination is. But we can't go down there yet. So instead we'll just go and speak to this Moogle boss right here. And we need to go and find the nine missing Moogles. So I think we can do that. Just about, maybe. So just start making our way over to the previous area once more. Oh, they're all on the map anyway, look for us. So, you don't even need my help, do you? But I'll show you anyway. Just for the fun of it. So we're looking at these huts, that's where we need to be, and um, all we have to do is interact with them. And we get a bit of a scene, and that gets them added on to our total. Yada, 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 yada. There we go. So I'm just going to, I've already done this anyway on a previous walkthrough for this game, so I'm just going to show you where they are on the map. Just go to them, follow the path, just be careful if you go up past the save crystal where it's all greyed out still because that'll kick off the uh, bomb boss, but you can avoid that for the time being and go and get these Moogles. Once you've found the last set of Moogles, you get the option to go back to the gate with them so you don't have to traverse back yourself at that point. Just make sure you do touch the orange crystal before finding the last set of Moogles. You should have seen it on my map, it might not appear on yours until you get into the area. Just so you can port back to Salika Wood then at any point in the future without having to, you know, make your way back again manually again. And as I said, we'll sort the optional boss out in a little while. But now I really want to just focus on grabbing these orange crystals and getting as far forward as we can. So this will take us into the Fong Coast. Just go ahead and skip some of these scenes for now, since we've seen them before. Make sure you save, and then we're going to go ahead and push our way through this next area. Right, okay, so once you're at the hunter's camp, we're going to want to rent a chocobo. And the reason for this is you can't actually access the Sorobi step yet by normal means at this point in the game. But you can if you get there on a chocobo. So we're just going to go and uh, do that now. I've got myself lost here, won't be a moment. Okay, case so you just want to find Gerdy, who's located here. And just be careful because we are on a time limit, of course. So that's which way we're heading. That's towards the Tachita Uplands. 
helpful of him, isn't it? So let's just have a look at our map here. And we do want to uh, sprint, because obviously three minutes isn't a whole lot of time. So we're just going to go up the main exit at this point, or out the main exit. You can use a hidden trail by heading down south first, but if he's going to put us there, Gerda, then it seems pretty pointless. We've got 160 seconds and quite a, a ways to go, so hopefully we'll make this in time. We'll use our sprint uh, wisely here. And what we need to do is get all the way now through the Tachita Rocklands. Which obviously can be easier said than done. So we'll just go ahead first. And make our way to the next area. And we are going to be running out of sprint now, which is obviously quite annoying. So that's it, that's as fast as we can go. Let me just speed the, the game up a touch here anyway. Ugh, don't run out of time. And this is quite a large area now we've got to traverse. We're just going to stay up uh, north or s Oh no, I've hit a dead end. Ah, messed that up. We can go this way though. Got 80 seconds. This is going to be tight. That's it, that's fine. 70 seconds. We've got to get out of the way into the next area. We're nearly there now, actually. But a minute is going to be uh, a very tight amount of time. Oh, no, 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 no. I think I've messed this up. We have to be doing this one again. Unless we can get there in 40 seconds. This is the second to last area now. The last one's got the save crystal in. We might do this. This will be it. This will be it. It's a slow down. We need to talk to this guy. No, no, no! Don't dismount. Uh, I think we just. All oh, right, there we go. We go here. Look. I knew we didn't dismount. Somewhere around here now we can jump. And we are running. There it is. There it is. We've done it. We've done it, I think. Yes, we did it. We're across. And just in time as well. So you normally can't get across there at this point in the game. But this is the Sorobi step. And we're here early, which is good. Fantastic. Okay, and here I am at the save crystal. Just make sure you grab telekinesis from the chest the moment you come through from the Tashita Uplands there. And here's the safe So just be careful because the enemies here are obviously very hard. They're high level. Uh, but I was able to take most of them out with Bash still by himself. So that wasn't a big problem. Just had to use a few Phoenix Downs and High Potions. But we're in the place now where we can get a lot of good treasure. And using our Rex save file for RNG manipulation. We're going to really beef our characters up. So hopefully you'll come back and join me for that. Uh, thanks for stopping by today folks. I hope this video has been helpful to you. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.